Hey guys, in this video I'll be using Microsoft Excel 2010 to give some pointers on some VBA coding that you, will, um, that you would find very useful when working with multiple sheets and multiple workbooks. So I'm going to go on and get started. In my Developers tab I have Insert and I've inserted an ActiveX command button already on my workbook. That way I can go on and get straight into the code. So one of the first things that I'm going to show is working with multiple sheets. I'm only going to be working with the raw data workbook because in, in the back you'll see I have a workbook here ready but for right now just looking at the raw data tab um, at the raw data workbook you'll notice I have three tabs in the bottom home raw data and sheet 3 now what I'm gonna do is double click my command button this is gonna take us into the visual basic environment but in the raw data project you'll see I have raw data home and sheet 3 these are the labels or the name that the text name the text value of my tabs but in the back end each sheet has a name in this case it's sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 so with that being said there's already two ways that we can call our sheet in order you know to activate it we can do sheet 1 dot select I went down to the, to the end sub we do sheet 1 dot select if we were to run this code, I'm going to run it by hitting F5 or you can press the play button, but I'm going to use the shortcut F5. And the backend sheet 1 has been selected, which we see as being the raw data tab. But if I also do sheet 2.select and hit F5, that's going to have the home tab selected. Even though there's no sheet that's physically labeled sheet 2, in the backend, again, it, we still have that name here. Now, if I also do sheets, and then do home dot select this line of code is equivalent to sheet 2 dot select so if I was to remove this right here and just run this code go back to my raw data tab click the button it takes us back to the home tab now doing sheets and then doing 2 dot select is not equivalent and I'm gonna repeat that it's not equivalent to doing sheet 2 and this is the reason why this index number right here is specifically looking at the labels at the tabs that are on your workbook so this is actually 1 this is 2 and this is 3 if I was to run the code and hit the command button right now having sheets and then the index has 2 being selected the home tab is what's going to be act. Um, I'm sorry, the raw data tab is the one that's going to be activated. So I'm actually going to pick sheet three here. I'm going to run this code using the play button, and the second tab is the one that's selected. All right. So this is the information that I wanted to give on working with multiple sheets in a workbook, and the reason why this is very useful to know is because you can now do sheets and what I'll do is do the raw data sheet dot range a2 dot value I'm gonna do a message box for this because I want you to see how we can get data from a, sh a sheet without having to actually have the sheet selected or even visible so if I hit play this is telling us what's in A2. If we change this to A1, hit play, we'll get the station. Now I'm going to hide the raw data tab and have sheet 3 selected. Go back to the Visual Basic environment, play the same code, and we can still see the data even though the sheet is not visible. Although this is very useful, especially if you don't want to use a formula and you want to programmatically retrieve data from a sheet. Now, if you wanted to pull data from another workbook, number one, the workbook must be open, and number two, you must know the file name. If not, you'll need to write, you'll need to write some kind of function in order to look at all of the active workbooks that are that are open in Excel and you know find the one that you're looking for. But in this case, we know the name of the file, and we just want to extract what's in B2 without having to create a formula. So, how would you do that in VBA? all you really have to do is add this code right here workbooks open parentheses the name of the the file 
book2.xlsx and then dot sheets and then the name of the sheet in this case we're pulling from sheet 1 and let's just get what's in range B2 and I'm gonna go on and play this code and we get the value 1 which is the value that we have right here in B2 from this workbook alright guys so that completes this portion of the video I hope you find this useful when working with multiple sheets and workbooks thank you for watching